now available on e-readers everywhere. From the author of the Simp Trilogy, Stop Simping, Why Men Don't Need Finance to Get Romance, Manginas, They Look Like Men But They Act Like Ladies, and The Misadventures of Captain Sable Holcombs, Stop Simping in the Workplace. Learn what mistakes not to make with women and protect your job with Stop Simping in the Workplace, available on e-readers everywhere. Whenever one Afro-American Negro male sees another Afro-American Negro male doing something very positive in their community, accomplishing something that they set out to do, or achieving a goal that they set out to do, oftentimes some of these Afro-American Negro males get very jealous of that individual who's setting out to do what they wanted to do in their lives. And because they get jealous, they try to find some way to tear that individual down whether it be by minimizing what the individual has done, taking jabs at the individual, or doing passive aggressive things like talking behind a man's back. And the reason why these Afro-American Negro males participate in that behavior, I believe has to do with the single mother household many of these Afro-American Negro males were raised in. Because when it comes down to this Negro, he has learned how to socialize and how to behave from his single mother. And when it comes down to jealousy, jealousy really is a female trait because females oftentimes get jealous of another female that is doing something and they try to find ways to tear that individual down or they try to find ways to push that individual out of the social, social circle because they feel uncomfortable about that individual doing things that will make them look like less of a person because if a person is out here doing something for themselves, accomplishing something or achieving something, that jealous individual starts to feel insecure and inadequate, and they start feeling like somebody's going to point the finger at them and say, why can't you do that? So they want to find some way to sabotage the other individual and devalue their accomplishments so they will look like they are not doing anything or what they're doing has no value. This is something females do all the time. However, this is not something males do, especially when they are raised by their fathers. Now, when it comes down to men, men normally don't get jealous of other men because men are logical thinkers. And when it comes down to a man, he doesn't have a reason to be jealous of another man. In fact, when a man sees another man accomplishing something, they often praise that man for accomplishing what he's doing and pretty much try to support that man in whatever he's doing. Because when it comes down to men, oftentimes men focus on what they want to do in life and they are staying in their lane and focusing on the goals that they want to accomplish. Men don't get jealous of other men. Men work hard to be better at what they're doing. Whenever they see another man accomplishing something, they will congratulate that man and then go back to focusing on what they want to do with their lives. Now, I've run into many jealous men over the course of my life, starting when I was 12 years old in junior high school, and it always boggled my mind to why another man would try to tear another man down. Because when I was 11 years old, and I saw other kids getting awards and plaques, and I said to myself, I wanted to get that for myself. And in order for me to do that, I said I had to go out here and work harder. Because that's what a man does. When a man sees something that they want, they don't get angry at the other man for having that. They go out and focus on what they want to accomplish. That's what a man does. Because men don't get jealous of other men Men focus on making themselves better and focus on working towards the goals they want to accomplish. They don't get mad at another man for doing what they set out to do. They go out and try to do something for themselves. That's what a man does. And that's what I did starting out with junior high school, even though I ran into a lot of obstacles, working towards getting that big award that I wanted to get. And by the time I got to college, I finally got that plaque that I'd wanted ever since I was in elementary school. And it took a long time for me to do it, overcoming all the obstacles of bullies and hostile school environments. But I always focused on the goal that I wanted to do, which was doing well in school 
and winning awards because that's what I wanted to do as a man. I understood that if I want to do something, I can't get mad at another man for accomplishing something. I have to focus on accomplishing what I want to accomplish. And this is something many boys don't get in single mother households. In single mother households, all they learn how to do is see what another man has and do things like their mother does. Like if a mother sees the woman having an, or one of her girlfriends having a Gucci purse, she tries to either steal the Gucci purse or she tries to cut the Gucci purse or she does something like drop nail polish on the other woman's Gucci purse to sabotage it or damage it so that she can't use it. And this is a passive aggressive thing that she's doing because she's angry that this woman has accomplished something that she can't accomplish. And this is what boys learn in single mother households and households with simps. They're not learning how to be men and say, look, if I want that Gucci purse, like the woman, in the case of the woman, I have to go out here and work towards my own. And this is something men learn on their own. They learn, look, I can't sabotage this other guy. I, if I want what the success that he's getting, I have to go out here and put in the work to get my own success. I can't get mad at that man for putting in those hours and putting in that time towards accomplishing what they want to accomplish, setting a goal for themselves, and then working towards the goal that they want to accomplish, because that's what men do. When a man sees another man with success, he says to himself, I can do that, I can do that for myself, and I can take myself to where I want to go. That's what any man does, because that's what men all do as logical thinkers. We say, okay, if that guy went out here and wrote a book, I'm going to go out here and write a book. And if I want to write that book, I'm going to have to put the work in. I'm going to have to put the hours in. I'm going to have to spend those hours day after day working on those chapters and working towards getting towards the end of that story. And then after I finish that story, I have to work towards revising that book and then getting it ready for publication. That's what a man does. Men set a goal for themselves. They set a course for where they want to go, set a direction for where they want to go in life. And then they make efforts towards working towards that goal they want to accomplish. Men don't get jealous of other men. Men focus on being the best men they can possibly be. And this is something that boys don't get in single mother households. In single mother households, they learn how to behave and act just like a woman. And women don't focus on making themselves better. They focus on tearing down someone who is making them feel inadequate and insecure. And instead of them working like a man would, they pretty, this is why they do not grow. This is why they stay in the same place. And this is why people, in some cases, wind up walking away from them. And this is why a lot of guys wind up wanting nothing to do with jealous men like manginas and simps. Because when it comes down to simps and manginas, these guys spend most of their time brooding, being angry, and sulking over men going out and doing what they need to do. And because these guys don't want to go and put in the work, they get mad when they see somebody succeeding and doing the things they wish they could do. In order to be a man and achieve things, you're going to have to go out here and you're going to have to set your goals, set a direction for your goals. And yes, you are going to run into obstacles like I did with bullies in junior high school and classes that I had a hard time with like algebra but you have to persevere, you have to push, and if you really want what you want, you're gonna go out here and do it. Same thing with me wanting to write a book. I ran into a lot of obstacles in order to go out here and write my first book. I've made numerous mistakes, but because I wanted to persevere, that's what I did, and you can't get anywhere by being jealous. Jealous people stay in the same place, they never really go anywhere, and they never really grow because these people are too busy being angry to, to go out here and work towards what they really want to do in life. If you like what you see on this video and you want to help me make more videos, you can donate to my Patreon by clicking the link in the description box. And if you want to try some of my SJS Direct titles, like Stop Simping in the Simp series, you may do so by clicking the link to Amazon.com in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.